Dwayne The Rock Johnson just did one of the most imbecilic thing that you could ever have done when it comes to being a celebrity where people of all walks of life, people from both sides of the aisle can love you, agree with you, want to hang out with you, want to pay attention to you by endorsing Joe Biden. Yep, he is officially, uh, he, hmm. He is endorsing Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, but let's just be real. It's not going to be Joe Biden. It's going to be a uh, Kamala Harris presidency. That's what's going to happen. Joe Biden is has dementia. He is senile. He's he can't, doesn't have enough energy to keep up with Trump. He is definitely going to be stepping down, and Kamala Harris is going to be rising up to take his place. But The Rock. Oh my goodness, let's go ahead and just get into a video. Yeah, all that. I, I, I love this uh, this like to dislike ratio because you get to see on the, the other videos about 2.7, 2.2, um, and it's again a 50-50 right down the line of people who like it and people who don't. I dislike it because one of the main, re one of the main things is that if you are a celebrity, please stay out of politics. You can vote for whoever, I don't care. You have the right to do that, but I don't wanna hear you think if, if, if you claim, um, a, if, if you take a stance politically and you say this is the correct way of doing it and, I, and there's de definitive evidence as to like, well, whoa, whoa, the person you are supporting is just objectively wrong. For example, you don't have to like Trump. You can hate Trump. You can think that he's the worst guy ever. But if you deny the fact that he made two to three peace deals, peace treaties within the Middle East for them to stop bombing each other, and you think that, well, no, 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 well, that's just a, that's the administration, that's not Trump. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to deal with you. You, you, you either are too blinded by orange man bad, or you're just a retarded person. I don't know. Like, I, you cannot like something, but when it comes to the political theater, when you take a stance, well, there's going to be people who disagree with you. And guess what? If you, if he came out and vo uh, said, hey, 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 I'm, I'm all for MAGA, well, I'd say that he also would be probably taking away all the people on the uh, on the left side. It's like, hey, you're kind of alienating an audience by being political when you yourself can do many good things. But now that since you've kind of divided a line of saying these people are good, the other people are bad, these people are correct, the other people are wrong. Ooh. <laughs> Again, there's a lot of things that he has done. I have not been a subscriber, but at the same time, hey, do what you do, rock. Go for it. You want to help people? Fantastic. I, I don't want to impede on you. I want you to go off and do as many things as you possibly can to influence and help other people in multiple parts of the world that I may not be aware of that other people could probably be interested in and start funding and helping, etc. You could start building that. That's a great, phenomenal thing. But the moment that you come out into the political theater, the moment that you, you take a stance, this is what happens. Afterwards, afterwards, Biden, was that the thing? Harris, ha 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 No, that was Tupac. <laughs> Again, uh, comment after comment, it was like the majority of the comment section is about an 80%, if not 90%, just like Joe, not Joe Biden, uh, Dwayne Johnson, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. What the heck are you doing? Getting political? Why? Oh, man. And in the other video, the, the most recent video that came out, ooh, that actually has a lot more, uh, I think it gained like four, Two, three thousand. Uh, since the last time I saw it, uh, that dislike bar was at two point seven. So in the time that I started recording, it gained three thousand. That's interesting. <laughs> um, but we go to the comment section. The Rock sold out. As a huge fan of The Rock, I can't believe that you would alienate half of your fan base. The last time I checked, rocks do not have brains, and yes, rocks still do not. He is a total bot, and you know it's just kind of a troll. Uh, but at the same time, it's like why, why, why would you do this? This is crazy. Um, most, if not all, cele uh, Hollywood celebrities sold out their souls to ins uh, to enhance their careers in and brand, including The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Go eat babies and pineapples rock. That's weird. <laughs> that is so weird. Drug testing for pre uh, presidential candidates. Let's see who's really high, Trump or Biden. Mm. Yep, the... the, the uh, one more thing. Uh, take, uh, talking about the importance of voting. When you can't even know... Uh, when you can't even know the right candidate to vote. What? I don't get that. <laughs> it's uh, probably just reading it a little bit differently of like, hey, uh, 
you don't know who the correct candidate is, but you should be going for this person. The reason I'm br okay, that's that, that that's a little sidetrack. But the reason I'm bringing all this up alone, this is going to be very cringe worthy. This is worth the downvote. I I highly recommend that you go and watch it. For me, I'm downvoting it for the simple fact that why are you getting political? And a, you're doing it for who? <laughs> That's the main reason. That may, that may be a bit shallow, but let me give an uh, let me give some evidence. Cardi B did an interview with Joe Biden, the first person to ever give him a an interview. Joe Biden, when he started, when he announced that he was going to go for president, the the Biden campaign decided to go with Cardi B, who created a song called "Wet Ass Pussy Wap." She's a whore. <laughs> he. Uh, it's amazing if you watch the S, the full 16, eight, uh, 16 minute, 18 second video, it's cut up to the nth degree. It is just edited to try to cut out all the bullshit and crap. One of the things that people can call out when somebody sees some edited shit like that, and I know that I'm getting off a little bit on the, ooh, you probably should stop cussing. No, when you, st the internet, people, people in 2020 have been so exposed to long form discussions without interruption so the moment that you post something edited if you're going to be doing it for style and you're going to be doing it for like hey i'm going to be talking closer to the camera now i'm going to i'm going to edit it where i'm talking further away from the camera but when you cut out specific parts of the conversation that it either ends abruptly or it, or you interject with a thought that wasn't fluid it wasn't natural people start to reject that because people have been exposed to long form conversations that the internet specifically youtube has been able to provide so you cannot get away with this type of bullshit anymore you can't just edit a video out of context in any way i want to know what somebody says in full context i like it or Disagree, I agree with it or disagree with it. I want more conversations. People with whom I disagree with on the side, I don't want their stuff to be edited either. Say your full spiel, say the full thing that you want, let it out there for people to see. Um, I, I'll have respect for you, I'll applaud you, I'll defend your your rights, but I'm not going to defend your being correct. <laughs> so, and again, I, 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 would, I would hope that's the same way on the other side as well. It's just you agree or disagree with me, if there's demand more context demand more transparency that's the one thing that i would i i would be okay with dying on that hill it's that and by even going with cardi b joe biden choosing cardi b is the first person to come uh, to have an interview with with that also being said she is cuban she's not black so we um and that's i'm going to be bringing that up because of joe biden's Whew, major gaffe and saying it on a morning show that's going to be relevant for a little bit later candace owens responds to cardi b and there's many videos and pretty much everybody on youtube commented reacted to it thought about it it's really 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 disturbing disturbing is cardi b is a literal retard she only has a fifth grade education and she's able to be famous by showing her vagina and her ass i love it she's not smart though she is a whore she's a bimbo she's a fuck doll that's to the extent of why she became so popular if you remove her physical body and her displaying a sexual activity she wouldn't be as popular if anything that's that's her entire makeup of being a fuck bimbo doll that's what she is i personally enjoy it but it's not relevant to her it, she has no competence when it comes to politics that's why when candace owens who does dive into the realm of politics on a daily if not weekly monthly basis every single day when cardi b and candace owens started to go after each other as candace owens calls out Car uh, cardi b for her giving an interview with joe biden because why not because she is smart but but she has influence cardi b saying oh well, well please go watch all the videos get as much context as possible cardi b started going after candace owens and even was racist against her white husband Candace Owens' white husband, who is British, um, when I heard about that information, I was like, oh my gosh, you, you traitor, <laughs> marrying a British person, marry American. <laughs> that's, 
<laughs> oh, it was, it was a funny... Um, uh, some of the people in the comment section were like, no, you married the evil people, the British. <laughs> so there was a lot of uh, funny comments in the comment section when uh, that was revealed. So, But again, agree or disagree with Candace Owens, she is more viable or she is more legitimate. Let me turn off that air. She's a more legitimate person to listen to of any politics whatsoever compared to Cardi B. Cardi B is a fifth grader, fifth grader intelligence. She literally has the mentality of a stupids and she's able to, she was blessed with a good body, good genes, and she's very sexual. Amazing, I like it, she, but she's a retard. She's dumb. And Cardi B, had a meltdown, multiple meltdowns, multiple videos on Instagram, TikTok, or whatever, and it just shows how literally crazy she is, and she's actually divorcing her now, or I guess now ex-husband, which again, it's like, well, why are you, <laughs> it just, it's, it's weird, <laughs> it, it's, it's just weird timing, it's, it seems like more of a coincidence, but it's, did, did her having a fallout emotionally have anything to do with that? I, I'm not too certain, but your personal life, you know, that's that's a personal life thing, and I don't want to get too much into that. So everybody has personal life issues. That's just something we have to move on. But the thing is, is that if you type in Joe Biden, you ain't black. He had a quote-unquote gaffe on the morning show. I'm trying to think of uh, what, was, what was the name of the morning show. Uh, see, it doesn't even say. Da-da-da-da. Uh, it's really just the phrase itself. Yeah, uh, but on a morning show with someone, Joe Biden, near the end of the interview, says that if you don't know if you're either gonna be voting for me, Joe Biden, or Trump, then you ain't black. And that's what he said. So this is the same person that Dwayne The Rock Johnson is announced for his support. He is the exact, he's in the exact same position as Cardi B was. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is now a retard. No, at this point, he is a retard. That, or he sold out. And it's either or. He's not a smart person if you did this. Because in this circumstance, Joe Biden came out with Cardi B of having an interview. Cardi B is a retard. She's great with her body. She's able to, you know, bring that pussy to the wetness. So <laughs> bring, all, bring that pussy to the yard. <laughs> and Joe Biden has said many things that are very offensive and very weird. He said that he was in office for like 180 years. Like, wait, what? <laughs> Joe Biden ha definitely has dementia. De Joe Biden is definitely a weak candidate, regardless of whether or not you like Trump. Joe Biden is a ridiculous person to have ever had, um, ha um, to have ever been considered for the nomination for, uh, from the Democrats. They could have selected people with whom I disagreed with. They could have. They could have done that. But they selected Joe Biden. So, so Dwayne The Rock Johnson, thank you very much for blatantly posting your idiocy out for the public to see. That when it comes to you being in the, in the, in the realm of politics, in the political theater, just like Cardi B, you are a dipshit, sir. You are the shits of the dips. Thank you very much for being a part of this. Please go watch all these videos. I'll have links down below for some videos, but please go do more research, watch more content, get have more transparency about the situations that are happening. These people don't want you to know what's going on. People in the comment section who are saying that, oh, you disagree with Joe Biden? You must be a racist. They actually, there's a comment in the comment section that says e uh, all the Nazis are coming out to in droves today, aren't they? It's like, wow, somebody disagrees with you you're a Nazi <laughs> wow it's fascinating that's one of the reasons why I became more conservative because they actually provide more things than orange man bad thank you very much for being a part of this uh, <laughs> post your comments questions and concerns right down below because I want to hear from you please smash that like and subscribe button because that would greatly help this channel out. If you didn't like what you saw up to this point, thank you very much for sticking all the way to the end and I will see you next time. Beep.